Hello, Jewel City. I hope you're having a great Wednesday. And not only Jewel City, we've got several friends and neighbors around the country that are watching this uh, live stream every day. And it's uh, very humbling. And we appreciate you uh, uh, spending your noon uh, with us here at Jewel City on our live stream. I've been talking this week uh, about being anxious, about stress and, and pressure. And, and I want to share with you uh, from Philippians chapter 4. I preached on this this past uh, Sunday, but allow me to read verse 6 and 7 again. Be not anxious about anything. Anything. Wow. That, that just included everything. And so whatever you're going through, not just this virus, but the Word of God says, be not anxious about anything. So, uh, but in everything by prayer and petition, uh, there's nothing like praying. Man, when I get anxious and nervous and stressed out, and sometimes, just to be honest, I, I just kind of rebel and don't want to pray. I'm just being honest. I, 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 well, I'm going to pout a little bit, or, and I'm just not going to talk to God. But uh, that's not what God wants us to do, and that's, that's definitely not the answer. So let me start again. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your request known to God. Man, it's uh, one thing I can say, it's not hard to give thanks uh, to the Lord. He's been good to me. Uh, he's been good to my family. He's been great to our ministry. And uh, what a blessing. So today it goes on and says, and the peace of God. And that's what I preached on this past Sunday morning. Not the peace from God, but the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Can I tell you, if we can keep our hearts in check and our minds uh, guarded, by the Spirit of the Lord, the Word of the Lord, friend, we'll make it through any difficult situation. And I pointed out this past weekend the peace of God, like being in the throne room of God where God is and that it's just 100% the peace of God. God never has a stressful day. God never has a depressed day. And that peace of God will keep our minds and our hearts. So whatever's going on in your minds, there's a battle seems to go on in my mind and a lot of times and I take things maybe wrong, somebody says, or I may get hurt or whatever, but we just gotta guard our minds and our hearts in the Word of God. And I, I promise you, God will bring you through time and time again. There's nothing like the peace of God. I'm sure you know what I'm about to say. There's times you get a phone call, times you, you talk to somebody and instantly the problem just brings knots to your stomach, just in your gut, you're just all tied up. And then all of a sudden you begin to pray and you begin to trust God. And it seems like that mess that's in your gut just kind of unfolds and there's that peace and you know that God's got it. So maybe that's just what I want to close with today. God's got it. No matter what's going on in your life, it's okay. God's got it. Before we close today, does God have your heart? Is, is your soul in the hands of God for eternity? Uh, do you know that you know? that it is well with your soul? If not, friend, the Lord is calling you today. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. Pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, today, Lord God, I love you. And I ask you to forgive me, Lord, of my shortcomings and my faults and my failures. And today I repent of my sins and I come before you and ask you to cleanse me and create in me a new heart. Can I say hallelujah? Praise the Lord. If you prayed that prayer today, or if you just need to talk, give me a call, 304-669-1140. Before we close, let me share, coming this Sunday, May 3rd, we've, we've connected with a professional uh, sound company. They're gonna bring a tractor and trailer in here with a great big stage that folds down, and, and our band and singers are gonna be out there leading us in worship in the parking lot. I will be preaching, and we're going to have a great time, man. We have missed our congregation, and I pray you've missed us. And uh, we're going to be having church in your cars. Please 
You gotta stay in your cars unless it's just an emergency. There will be a bathroom in the gymnasium open. Again, this coming Sunday, May 3rd, 10 o'clock. Uh, like, share, follow. Let everybody know that Jewel City Church is having church in the parking lot. Invite your neighbors, invite your friends. Hey, have a great day. God bless.